Yo, what's up, subscribe? My name is Firebrand, and welcome to Battlefield One. Today we're gonna be, we're just gonna be doing reviewing the uh, all the four classes, rank ten guns, starting with the Hell Regal 1915 Factory for the assault class. So this was the second rank ten gun I unlocked, and okay, first of all, let me tell you how to uh, get rank ten guns easily on all four classes. Play how you're supposed to play, like as support, medic, scout, or assault. Assault, capture flags, destroy vehicles, and so any, kill people in the Kill people for all four classes, by the way, to get them good. For, uh, medic, uh, you need to heal people and revive people. Also, squad XP boosts work as well. That That's what I used to get, uh, rank 10 on medic, and they, and it's extremely, like, it's extremely easy to do that. Um, on support, refill people with ammo. And, uh, other than that, I really don't know what else to do. That's pretty much all I did. On scouts, spot people, use cableless to take out vehicles, get long range kills, because those give you a lot of points. And, yeah. But, uh, this is kind of a boring clip because I, I'm, like, having to run for, like, half of it. It was not planned. <laughs> but, uh, the Hell Regal 1916, no, 19, 1960, 1915. Uh, it has 60 rounds in the- it has 120 rounds in, in all. Um, it ha it, the fire rate is between the Automatico, well not Automatico, but the, uh, MP-18 and the Automatico. And, uh, it doesn't have very much reco recoil at all. It used to have, uh, like, no recoil at all, but then they, uh, patched it, and now it has kind of a lot of recoil, but it's still pretty man manageable. Also, the hipfire in this thing, really not all that bad. Like, I've, I've been gassed out before by gas grenades, and I've been able to get kills just fine by using this thing with hipfiring. So, yeah. But, uh, also, that's a pretty cool reload, too. But, um, yeah. The, uh, Hell Regal 1915, actually, uh, bit of trivia here. It's a, uh, it was a prototype weapon, and it actually never saw combat in World War One. It was about to in the Spring Offensive of 1919, I believe. But, uh, it never actually saw combat use. It was actually developed by the Austro-Hungarians, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. And, uh, I can't put any pictures in this, sadly. Be well, I can get pictures off the internet, but I can't put them in here, sadly, because they'll, like, transform into a whole new clip, which kind of sucks, but, um, I'm trying to get kills for this clip, like, and this isn't really helping out all that much, I'm just saying. But, um, yeah, it was, a, uh, it had, like, a belt connected to the magazine, that's the only thing that was connecting the magazine to the gun. And, uh, since this thing was a prototype gun, and it never actually saw combat, DICE had a lot of room to, like, make this thing how they wanted it to. Also, the look at this gun, like, it, it, this thing kind of looks like it would be in, uh, Star Wars, in my opinion. Like, a, uh, gun was like a modified gun for Star Wars. And uh yeah, I just like the look of this thing in general. And uh yeah. But uh moving on to the medic class and the medic clip. Alright, moving on to the medic class and the self style order nineteen oh six factory. So uh I got the I got this this thing actually yesterday. So this is my newest one and I haven't very had very much playtime with this thing. But um from what I can tell, it's a very, very good uh, gun. I like this thing a lot. Uh, it has five bullets in the uh, integrated magazine, and uh, that's that's my, that's the main reason why no one likes it because uh, it it has five rounds and it takes three shots to kill someone, and it's just and liked by a lot of people for some reason. I don't know why, because I love this thing. I'm and I'm and I also might have be having a tiny bit of trouble getting a kill. For this, or a couple kills. I'm, I'm gonna make the minimum for this one, and the, uh, and for the uh, three to follow, at least two kills, so you can guys can kind of see it in action. But if you guys have Battlefield One and have it like close to uh, rank ten, I definitely think that this that this gun is worth the grind. I also believe that the uh, Hell Eagle is worth the grind because the Hell Eagle is probably one of the best guns in the game for assault. But uh, yeah, the Soap Slaughter uh, 1906 Factory. You can put, uh, buckhorn sights, I think they're called, on this thing. And, uh, I don't really like the buckhorn sights that much, because you can see through them on some guns, <laughs> including this one. But, uh, yeah. 
CJ. It's TJ too. Don't, don't you dare. But uh, I oh, by the way, I learned this last night. Do I do not recommend trying to shoot down planes with the sub starter. It will not work out very well for you. <laughs> don't even know how that how I got that kill, but I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. I can't even be I'm mad sorry. about that. I'm sorry. That one's good. What? Well, I can't even be mad about that. CJ, stop. Seriously. What? <laughs> seriously? <laughs> seriously? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm legit about to mute you. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. TJ's laughing too. Just be quiet, just mute your mic or something. I would if I knew how. We have the exact same heads up, CJ. But uh, yeah, the sub solder is probably one of my favorite guns in the game. It's also one of the most fun guns used in the game. Because the, the reload on it is also awesome at the same time. You've seen the reload, so uh, I'm going to show it one more time. Uh, not in the boat. <coughs> Did not want to spawn in the boat. I almost spawned in a boat. Gosh, Hello. Yeah. Gotta wait for the stupid spawn delay. Freaking boat. Spawn delays, am I right? That is the uh, reload animation. It's probably one of my favorite reload animation in the game next to the uh, Hell Regal and Martini Henry. But uh, yeah, that's it for this clip, and that's it for this gun. So, moving on to support. Alright, moving on to support and to the QOD automatic low weight. Now, if you guys uh, wonder why I sounded so sad right there, it's because I hate this gun. It's my least favorite gun in the game by far. Uh, I barely have any kills with this thing. And you know I don't like this gun if I don't even have the codex entry for it. I, I've had this thing for like two months and I don't even have the codex entry for it. But the Huada automatic low weight is the uh, support class level 10 gun and it, it's very underwhelming. When I first got this gun I thought it was going to be like the best support gun in the game. But I was wrong. This thing uh, it had 20, first of all it has a very low rate of fire. It has, I think it, it says it has the same rate of fire as the uh, Lewis gun. But I'm pretty sure that it doesn't, considering the fact that on the Lewis gun, well, I, I can't really explain it right now, because I, I would have to have the Lewis gun with me right now, but... The Iron Sights on it, yes, they are knights, but, uh, I said knights, I meant to say nice, but, um, the, uh, I just don't like this gun. Like, the real animation's okay, there's just not very much to look forward to. I'm also probably not going to get a uh, kill with this one, guys, because there's so many snipers around the map because they're everyone's hiding hunter. everywhere, which is nice. So this may be the clip I don't get a kill in, and I'm sorry if I don't get a kill, but I am I just don't want to have to re-record this again. I had to re-record it. The, uh, I was going to originally re-record re the uh, Martini Henry, but I didn't get very many kills in any of them. And, I'm, and if I don't get any kills in this one, I'm just not going to re-record it at all. I'm just going to keep it like it is. But, uh, yeah. Like, ugh, so bad. The reload's not even that cool either. The gun looks cool, I guess, to some people maybe, but not to me. I just don't like this gun. See that entire mag wasted into that dude? Barely even killed him. I, you guys can see how much trouble I'm having to get a kill with this thing, right? This, this is what it's like on a normal basis for me trying to use this thing. The only reason I'm ever going to use this thing is so I can get the codex entry. But uh, I mean, like it, it kind of looks like it. It's, it kind of does look cool. I will give it that, but not very cool. It looks like you put like a metal pipe onto an LMG and call it good. Also, by by the way, guys, you're probably gonna see me getting a lot. Of, you guys are gonna see me getting killed a lot by snipers because that's like all the people I'm having in my game right now. So excuse all the deaths by the snipers. I can't really do anything about it, but um, a little bit of trivia on this weapon again, like the uh, Hell Eagle. 
This thing was actually a uh, converted version of a uh, Canadian straight pole rifle named the Ross Rifle, I believe. And uh, that's actually where the uh, reload ammunition com comes from when you uh, like pull the bolt back. So I never, I didn't actually know that until I did some research on this thing. But uh, yeah. All right, moving on to the, the uh, final class and the final clip, the scout class. All right, moving on to the scout class and the scout clip. Now this clip, I probably won't even be getting a kill in, just because the Martini Henry and as good as it was, so excuse it if I don't get a kill. Um, the Martini Henry is probably my favorite level 10 gun in the game, by far, next to the uh, sub slaughter and the uh, Hell Reaper. Just because this thing is a blast to play with. Uh, snipers again, yep. You guys are going to see, see me getting sniped a lot, by the way, as I said in the last one. But, um, this thing is actually the, uh, if you guys have been seeing the musket in, on YouTube, uh, like musket clips on Battlefield 1, you're like, what are they talking about? They're talking about the Martini Henry. This thing is actually musket. It's a uh, one shot, yeah. as you can see. And you have are to Are you done, Nate? No. Okay, why well, did it muted? I'm sick and tired of you. But, uh, this thing used to be a lot better. It used to be, uh, like the sweet spot for this thing. You used to be able to, like, one shot people in the legs, uh, like, pretty much ever, anywhere around the body. But now that they nerfed it, back when Giant Shadow came out, uh, you can't do that anymore, sadly. Kind of disappointing, but you know what? I can kind of see why they did that. Um, K bullets are actually pretty good with it. Um, I think, actually, what am I saying? They're, they're the same damage. But, uh, I recommend putting, uh, if you guys want the uh, iron sights on this thing, I rec recommend putting the uh, radium sights. Just because they're kind of like glow sights. They're uh, Battlefield 1 version of glow sights. But, um. Yeah. Uh. See so right there, like, I got that headshot. And that wasn't even the sweet spot, I don't think. But, uh. I had a ton of fun before this thing got nerfed, but then they nerfed it, and I really don't even like this thing now. Why are you talking to your screen? Why are you talking to the screen? CJ, just mute me again. No, no, I'm not talking to you. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah I, this thing used to be a blast, but now that they nerfed it, it's not nearly uh, it's not nearly as funny as it used to be because you get so many hammer yeah. on this thing now. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be that for this clip and uh, this video, and I will see you guys later.